Hi everyone, Liam here. There is an absolutely huge update today as all of the latest beta and preview changes from Valve have now gone live with SteamOS 3.3 and all of the Steam Deck client updates now available to everyone. This is probably one of the biggest updates yet with tons of changes all across different parts of the Steam Deck software. Now, some of the major changes include an achievements page in the overlay. So when you hit the Steam button during a game, you can find your achievements. There is also now a guides page in the overlay that you can bring up the Steam button as well to help you through whatever game you are stuck on. There is a night mode scheduling feature. So when you're playing perhaps late at night, you might want to save your eyes a bit of burning there and you can change the coolness and the warmthness and the actual coloring on it. They've also added support for simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, Japanese and Korean keyboards, although they're not quite finished. They've updated keyboard behavior for improved fast typing on trackpad and touchscreen. There is a new update selector split between stable, beta and preview. Firefox is now set as a flat pack package from Discover, so it gets updates faster, so the previous security problems are no longer an issue. And there is the VG UI2 Classic Plasma desktop theme I am demoing for you here, which looks like the really old Steam theme. There are various improvements to external displays for scaling. They also updated the graphics driver with compatibility and performance fixes. The wireless driver has fixes for Wi-Fi disconnection issues on 5 GHz networks. They've updated controller firmware utilities to support future controller hardware revisions, which we still don't know what that means. And there is just absolutely loads of bug fixes. Things like digital reward notifications no longer appearing endlessly. The Xbox login window not rendering certain characters properly. Several crashes for non-Steam shortcuts crashing. Some native Linux games couldn't quit properly. And the list just goes on for a while. As I said, SteamOS 3.3 and the Steam Deck client updates are all now available in the stable channel, so everyone will get them. So now Valve can move on to SteamOS 3.4, which brings me to a question. What would you like to see next for Valve to actually update on the SteamOS software or the Steam Deck client software? Do let me know what you think in the comments.